You're watching a CPWN weather report with meteorologist Clarence Ponsler. Well, as you look from the Wall Street White House living room camera facing north, we're experiencing rain showers on this Friday 13th, especially in the southern half of the central headquarters area. This should last through Saturday morning. We're going to have the warmest day of this year thus far early next week, and then we could have below normal temperatures return late next week. So, currently, we have a satellite view showing a lot of cloud cover in the mid-Ohio and Tennessee river valleys. That is associated with a weather maker that is producing heavy amounts of rainfall at times, especially in southern Indiana and northern Kentucky. In some of these areas that are receiving rainfall right now, they had upwards of a foot or so of snow. So the snow melt now followed by a potentially one to three inches of rainfall now. That's going to cause some flooding issues. But because of the lesser rainfall amounts as you head northward, it's not going to be as bad. It's cloudy skies in Monticello at 44, but out in Pontiac, where they experience more sunshine, it's 58. 59 in Chicago, mostly cloudy. And down Indy, towards the southern part of the central headquarters area, 47 with some light rain showers. The rest of your day, in areas that could receive rainfall, temps will remain in the low to mid 50s. And in areas in more sunshine, like Chicago and Pontiac, temperatures will be in the lower 60s. For tonight, temperatures will be about 39 to 44. We're projecting 40 for Monticello under cloudy skies. Same goes for West Lafayette. Projected rainfall through 11 a.m. tomorrow. Lighter mounts north. Monticello could experience about a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. But as you head southward, heavier amounts of precipitation could be expected. West Lafayette, about a quarter to a half an inch rain. But down towards Danville and Indy, they could experience upwards of over an inch of rain. So the forecast for tomorrow Skies are going to clear out. We're experiencing partly the mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures upper 40s to low to mid 50s, 54 in Monticello. The warmest day of 2015 could be expected early next week. This is a 500 millibar map of the continental U.S. that shows basically the main jet stream as showing this red line. And it's going to be to the north of us where we're going to experience some more of a westerly flow, southwesterly flow, bringing all that heat that's happening in the central plains it's going to spread into our area, and that means we can experience some beautiful weather to kick off next week. But I'm going to caution you, by the end of next week into next weekend, and even the week after that, another trough is going to come by, and that's going to bring cold air from Canada into the area, and temperatures will once again be below average. For Monticello today, light rain, high of 52, east-southeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, overcast, low of 40. Generally calm and variable winds for tomorrow. Partly cloudy high of 54. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. The extended outlook, we could have the warmest day of the year on Monday. High of 66 degrees. Some areas could be in the 70s, especially towards the south. And then a slight cold front could come by. Not much precipitation expected, but that will bring the temperatures back to average. And then as we go along towards next weekend, we're going to see some more rain showers by a potent cold front, and temperature, temperatures will once again be below average by as much as 10 degrees. So winter may not be over yet after a little bit of a spring fling next, early next week. So I would like to acknowledge the following resources used in this broadcast. NOAA.gov and weather.cod, college at the page, by the way, .edu for providing the weather maps. And if you want more information in this YouTube account, head over to the WSNC.com. There's exclusive content that I won't explain. If you want more YouTube videos, head over to Clarence Ponsler Webcast Network right here on YouTube. If you want to tweet, you can use that Clarence Ponsler, or you can search my name on Google, Google+. And now I'll conclude this edition of CPWN. Clarence Ponsler saying, have a nice day or evening if it's nighttime. Goodbye.